So the Megabot Mark II is now in motion, standing at its height, 11 and a half feet squatting. It is approaching Pittsburgh's finest art car. It seems like the art car is not moving at all. It seems like the art car is dangerously close to taking around in the door panel. Commander Sprocket is taking aim. Controlling the guns with the joysticks. The same ones used in video games from the cockpit. It's a direct hit in the window. He's now aiming up the right arm cannon, Big Daddy Destroyer. Whoa! Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Those were direct hits. How do you feel about that? If you want to see eight of these megabots inside of a football stadium doing battle, let's hear some noise. If you want to be a pilot of a megabot, let's hear some noise. Who here thinks that they're going to be a megabot pilot? Make some noise. We have some ardent fans who will become megabot pilots. As we turn now towards the audience, we're fairly certain it's not loaded anymore. There might be some marshmallows left inside. We didn't really check the barrels. We don't think they're loaded anymore. Weighing it at 12,000 pounds. It's running a 24 horsepower engine. We've got 20 actuators inside, running a 2,500 PSI hydraulic system. We've got 13 joints allowing 13 different movements that it's able to take 13 degrees of freedom $175,000 in hardware costs 100 days of work 35 people collaborating together to bring this project to life crowdsourcing the cannons through a design contest with our friends at Autodesk, allowing engineers from around the world and across the country to submit their own ideas. And then we brought those ideas to life, designing a gigantic revolving potato gun cannon that we then put on the left arm of the Megabot. The Megabot is now going into its full standing position again. Make sure that you're getting photos and hashtagging the photos with Autodesk and hashtagging Megabots. And if you